Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is my um, project share for the monthly collab called The Stickier Side of Crafting. It is a collab hosted by Deb Houck, um, who is Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. And the whole purpose of this collab is to use up stickers that we have been, um, you know, collecting and, you know, getting, probably have huge quantities in our stash from all the different places you can purchase stickers these days. Um, it's just to try to get you to go ahead and pull out your stickers and start using them on projects. Uh, the car the project I made today, um, I did make 12 cards out of um, the particular these items that I'm showing. Now for the stickers, I used from the Dollar General, I found these felt stickers. Um, I, I did not use any of the orange ones, that's why all of these are left. This is actually two packages that I have combined. Um, I used most, or I used all but one pink one out of the two sheets. There were also some blue flowers and um, yellow, so I used blue, yellow, and pink on the cards I'm going to show here in a minute. Um, but these are just a lot of fun. They're made out of felt, but they do have a very, they're very sticky. I mean, they're very tacky. The whole back is covered. It's not just like a little foam dot. The entire back is covered in a really, really sticky adhesive. So they stick very well. So I, I used all but those, pretty much those orange ones, except for the one pink and one yellow. Um, I used for my images, I actually had found at Joann's. Um, this is one sheet of 12 by 12 that I cut out when I hadn't cut apart all the images. Um, I used an entire sheet of cut aparts that was purchased as a single sheet from Joann's in their open um, stock paper. And it's just all these fun like spring um, images and sayings and like it has a lot of florals and pastels and I just love the cute little pictures on here. Like this one says free sweet friendships refresh the soul and I thought that little raccoon and hedgehog was so cute <clears throat> but then this is really cute hug in a cup I love the collars um, just a lot of fun pictures and like happy spring love that one so I used a whole sheet of this this is the second sheet I just haven't done anything with it yet but I've already got it cut out for when I do want to if I make like another set of these cards um, I can go like to Dollar General down the street from me and go ahead hopefully they still have those flowers if not, I'll find something else in my stash to use. And then I pulled out this Jules um, cardstock matte stock that I've had forever. I actually realized I have two unopened ones of these. And it comes with 87 sheets. And it's just all these really bright, um, pretty, like, jewel-colored um, pieces of cardstock. This is actually more, like, geared toward scrapbooking because they're about the right size to put, like photos in just to mat like a picture for a scrapbook page but they worked perfect for these images okay and then um, for my card bases um, I was wanting to come up with some kind of like floral design like because I, I put the um, solid collar card stock around the image and then I was going to put maybe like a floral print paper as like a second mat but I couldn't really find anything that immediately and I didn't want to have to start moving things around because my craft room is a mess and trying to get to my papers right now is just ridiculous so <clears throat> I went over to where I keep my boxes of cards and I found this really pretty um, set of cards from Maggie Holmes I had no idea where I got them or how long I guess I got them at TJ Maxx at some point but it just got has a lot of really pretty um, designs I did not use one of these card bases um, this could be pretty just to put like a little sentiment on there and you'd be done and but there's like these really pretty this almost looks like a watercolor um <clears throat> there's this card which basically you don't even need to do anything to this this would be a real pretty card by itself but just you know just fun real really pretty colors i love this one with the green and the pink and I absolutely, this is my favorite one in here. I love that sort of a mustardy yellow with the pink and the mint green. I think that's just gorgeous together. So those are the bases that I use for my cards. So, real fast, I will show the cards that I created. <clears throat> um, 
here is the first one. I just went with the piece of, or the card that had like the little blocks of, um, with words. You can see it better on the back. <coughs> it just says, um, you are the best, sunshine, hello there, from the heart. Just a lot of fun little cute sayings. And so I just um, matted this with a really light purple, sort of like a lilac color. Um, has the little cups that stand, stack up there, and then the blue flower. And I thought this is adorable. And it's not very dimensional at all. A little bit of dimension, but I started to put this up on foam, but then it was just making it too thick and I thought well I want to kind of keep it flatter and so I just put it, everything straight down onto the the card base and the next one <clears throat> says live life in full bloom and I just went with one of these yellow flowers on here and I love this pattern on the card absolutely beautiful with the roses and the different shades of pinks and greens um, this one is you are my cup of tea but that's real cute it's a little teacup up there and this really pretty design here looks sort of jungly to me <laughs> with like the little ferns or whatever those are called there i'm terrible with plants i don't know what <laughs> anything is called um, but i just think it looks more sort of jungle-ish so there's that one and then this one i think is gorgeous I thought this one matched perfectly with the background on the card. Well, that one doesn't have anything on the back side, but it's like that watercolor uh, pattern. I thought it just looked perfect with that paper or with the card base. Bloom and Grow. <clears throat> Went with the hot pink up there to match the mat. <clears throat> and this one's adorable. It says, please join me for tea. And <laughs> it's that little bear with the crown and the teacup. He is adorable. Just matted that with brown. And then used that same sort of water, watercolor looking card base. And then went with the flower that was the blue and yellow together. Pulls out the colors in the image. <clears throat> together time. The two snails. That is so cute. The little flowers. And this really pretty print here. The hot pink flower at the top. And sweet friendships refresh the soul. I love the little raccoon and hedgehog. So cute. And I did use a brown um, card mat on this image. And so there's that one. And then this one is the happy spring and the little, like a watering can. And this pattern, or this card has all these cute little birds on it. So I thought that was really cute with this design, with this cut apart. <clears throat> this one I love. This is my favorite card base in the box. And I thought it went absolutely perfect with this image here because it has all those collars that are in here. It almost looks like it was made for each other to go together. And I just popped a little yellow flower up there. And then this one <clears throat> says, together is my favorite place to be. Use the little blue flower to pull out like that one right there. A little bit of blue down here. There's not really a whole lot of, I don't even think there's any blue um, this is sort of a pale blue-green, so I mean it went just fine with it. And then this spring is in the air. I have this that same one again. I used I think I used this one the most on my images. It just seemed to go so perfect with most of the cut aparts. And then here's the only one that I did that way, like landscape. It says enjoy the little things. And so I used that design there with the, the another one of the double layered flowers and it looks perfect with this because it has the yellow and the blue in there and so that is my set of cards super easy and I love those flowers they stick amazing they're very very tacky um, perfect and they're not like I said they're not two dimensional they do have a little gem in the middle so you might need to if you're trying to mail this it might be a little bit more difficult because of the gem um, <clears throat> but these would be fun just to tuck inside of maybe if you're sending a bigger package to someone, this would be a good little card to just add a little note to somebody. So thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by. Um, everyone else who is in this collab will be listed in the description below. So you can go and check out their projects and see what, um, things that they have made with stickers, what they have used their stickers for. Um, I've come up with some really great ideas from watching the other uh, participants. Um, sometimes they use stickers in a way that you might never have thought of before. And it's, they got some very creative ladies in this um, collab. So definitely go check them out. 
Um, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you all have had a great day, and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.